Welcome back. Uh, I want to start uh, this um, uh, video with a little explanation because uh, I am still doing this in English. Uh, when I did the last video, I didn't be satisfied at all at the end that it was in English because uh, I can't hear me speaking in English. <laughs> and uh, I thought, oh, it's awful, uh, nobody's going to like it. So uh, yesterday I drove to Sailors Exchange in St. Augustine, it's a half an hour ride and when driving I was thinking about no, I'll do the next video in German again because it's, uh, yeah, it's my language and it's easier and it would, would be more funny. Uh, when I arrived to Sailors Exchange, uh, yeah, I did my business there exchanging things and spoken to a nice guy Robert there and explaining about uh, the video. Uh, log I'm doing. Uh, maybe I ask him if I can, uh, um, uh, yeah, do a little uh, video in his shop. And he was satisfied and wanted to see my video in internet. And I told him that it is in German, the first one, and the second is in English. And I'm not going to do it uh, more in English. And then he said, and said, no, I should do it in English. My English is not so bad. And uh, we were laughing about it because my son said when the people keep telling you that your English isn't bad, <laughs> it's not good at all, no? Uh, so, uh, yeah, but he encouraged me to do, uh, to, uh, yeah, to keep on doing it in English because, uh, like him, I will meet a lot of people um, uh, on this trip uh, who probably speak English and so uh, they can see uh, what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, so, I. Uh, will laugh a bit about myself, about my bad English and probably it's going to get better this year in the, in America. Um, uh, yeah, so what is the Zaylas Exchange? I'll take you and then you will see. So here we are in the Zaylas Exchange. Hey guys, how are you doing? Hey, how are you, Ryan? Yeah, fine. Nice to meet you. You too. Good to see you again. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Sailors Exchange. Yeah, I brought you a porta potty, porta -potty. and uh, maybe we can do a little bit uh, business. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> are you looking for uh, credit today? So uh, yeah, well, I want to make an exchange, maybe about uh, yeah some things you have here, a drawer, and uh, I'm still looking for the Bimini. Excellent. And uh, yeah, so maybe you can ex uh, explain a little bit how it works here. Well, we've Absolutely been around for right. about 21 years, okay. and yeah. what we do yeah, at the exchange no, is we oh, take things that people bring us, yeah. and we give them credit for those, and then they can use that credit for anything in the store. Okay. So uh, we have a sheet that we keep behind the desk, and yeah. we, that credit is good for five, ten years, no okay. problem. Um, so if you go to the Bahamas, you go back uh, to Germany, and you come back in a few years, we still have it here. Yeah. And typically what we do is if we think an item is worth about $60, yeah. we'll give you about $20 in credit for it. Okay, that's so, good. Yeah, so sounds good. We try to do one-third of the value, mm -hmm. and we gain that value from looking on Google, uh, from our experience selling things here, yeah. and maybe for what you paid for the item. Okay, that sounds good. So, uh, how much would you give me for the porta potty? Well, that depends. Uh, how, how often have you used this? Oh uh, no, it's brand new. I never used it. I brought it over the Atlantic uh -huh. uh, because you need to see you need a holding tank in America, and okay. I didn't have it in the boat. And now okay. I installed one, but I never used it. I just arrived and then uh, installing oh, so the holding tank. Chemicals here. Yeah, it has everything. Uh, oh, very good. Yeah. Okay. Well, typically new, these things go for about $95. Okay. Uh, people come in here to get a discount, things really cheap. Yeah. So I would have to sell it for less than that. And I would say that $60 is probably what we would get for this. Okay. Um, I might put 75 on it, we'll yeah. discount it and maybe get 60 for it. Yeah. So I would offer about $20 in credit on this. Okay, that's cool. Sounds cool. So I'll put this on my list. Uh, 
I will uh, touch a few things in your shop and then we and then, work it out. The rest. Excellent. Okay. That sounds very good. <laughs> Install this in the bonetta of my boat. Very good. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, how much do you want to have for it? Um, right now, we're selling these for eighty-five dollars each. Okay. And they are teak. Yeah. Uh, and we are low on our inventory right now. Okay. Uh, because of the supply chain, because of how we purchase goods, uh, we're running a little low. So, I would like to keep the price around eighty-five. Mm -hmm. But since you're buying two of them, uh, yeah. we give a discount for eighty bucks each. Okay, that, that sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah. These are brand new. They do work. They're in excellent condition. Yeah, I saw them already on the internet uh, on your website. So uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I came over to have a look if the size fits for my boat. And uh, yeah, you have different sizes. So these two are fine for my boat. Very good. And I found a little uh, old uh, seat, uh, oh, which God. I'm going to install for only for the 6,000 mile ride on the Great Loop. Set it up here. So uh, how much? What do you like for it? Well, let's see. We got quite a bit of problems with the cushions. Yeah, the cushions are, yeah. Good. You can, yeah. I think um, I will need new ones. Um, need new ones. We yeah. got some spider cracks here. Yeah. And, uh, there's uh, a major crack here in the back, but uh, I hope it's going to hold uh, the one year right uh, after I'm going to ocean sailing again. <laughs> right. Okay, so we do have a big crack here. Yeah. Um, and we also got some wear and tear, yeah. some corrosion, a little bit frozen up. Yeah. So typically we do maybe 75 for this, and I'm thinking in the condition we'll probably go to 50. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so put this all together and then we work up my list out. Mm -hmm. Okay, Robert, so uh, take the sheet out and then uh, we see uh, how much is on my list. Because I already brought my head and uh, the old head uh, I disinstalled in the boat and I brought a sail here. And now we have the potter potty yes. and I have some small items here like uh, connectors and bulbs and everything. So maybe... You That's know. right. Yeah. So how much is it? So currently we have a total of $95 on your credit sheet. Yeah. As you can see right here. Yeah. We got Reinar. Okay. Uh, so we're going to add a few more pieces. He's brought in some electrical connections, some special size lamps, and we're going to give him $5 credit for these. So I'm going to add on $5, which brings you to a total of $100. Okay. And for electric parts. And if you could give me a signature right here. Yeah. Okay, excellent. Yeah. So uh, we're going to discount this from the drawers and mm -hmm. uh, seats, so how much will it be? All right, so we got the seat for 50. Yeah. And then we have the two drawers for 80 each, so yeah. that's 160. So it comes to 210. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to minus the 100 off your credit. Yeah. So minus 100. 
Do you have anything else you'd like to trade with us today? Uh, uh, yeah, we talked already about the Bimini I want to have, and maybe uh -huh. you ask your boss if they can bring it over to St. Mary's. Absolutely. And so we do this business later on. And uh, Okay, so today. since we're going to be done with the credit sheet today, yeah. I've taken off the 100, we're going to throw it out. Yeah. And we're going to charge the remaining money. Okay, okay. cool. Yeah, sounds good. good. One more thing. Yeah. You're buying the seat. You know, it's got some cracks in it. You're going to go all the way around the loop with it. Yeah. Well, when you get done, when you come all the way here, yeah. you can sell it back to me. Oh, yeah. yeah that I'll sounds good. Uh, I go for to New Orleans for sure. And then maybe coming back to Florida and then uh, I bring you the seat back in here. And Very good. I don't need it anymore. And then you don't need it when you go across the ocean. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no deal. deal. Yeah. <laughs> here you see when you're sailing normally and has a tiller on the sailboat you're all the time sitting sideways and uh, yeah looking like that and you're always twisted and as I have a broken back and uh, yeah and most of the great loop will be uh, uh, motoring not sailing uh, I wanted to have a uh, nice seat where I can sit and look forward yeah, so I mounted this and then the idea is that I put my autopilot on and I can steer from here sitting on my nice seat having my autopilot here and she can steer easily later on I want to do uh, here a little uh, support put it here and I even can go with my feet here and do the gas I don't know you see, don't see it and as a second feature of this nice seat when you anchor somewhere and you want to go fishing you just turn it around getting your fishing rod and have a nice fishing seat <laughs> So maybe you think it looks a bit stupid, uh, a seat like this on a sailboat, uh, yeah, and you're right. But um, yeah, it follows uh, the main rules uh, if you uh, live aboard, long-term live aboard, or want to go sailing on a frugal budget. The first rule is the 3F, which is form follows function. And the second rule is KISS, keep it simple, sailor as simple as possible so and it follows these two rules and so i think the seat is quite good and seen from uh two three meters uh, away from the boat you don't see it at all because it's white and 
Nobody is going to notice. And I have some good news. I found a boatyard, uh, yeah, not too far from here, a little bit more to the north, just at the border from Florida to Georgia in St. Mary's, which uh, have space for a month uh, that can take me out of the water and so I can do the necessary underwater work like the anti-fouling and I want to take off the paint from the outside and things I can't do in the water. And uh, yeah, it's going to be more easy than uh, transporting everything with the dinghy here on board, like the new fridge and the new head and the holding tank. Uh, so it makes life easier when you want to work on the boat. So tomorrow uh, we're starting uh, with a little trip, uh, going down the St. John's River through Jacksonville with a lot of bridges. And I hope I can stay one night on the free dock in uh, Jacksonville. And then going on the next day, following the St. John's River until the intersection with the intra-coastal waterway, where is another free dock I stayed when I came here. Then uh, following the intra-coastal waterway north uh, to St. Mary's. So in the next video, you'll see what it means to uh, cruise on the small sailboat, the intra-coastal waterway. So uh, looking forward to have you on board and see you there.